Hello friends, today we are going to read the 137th leg. The author is Madhuri Purandare. The illustrator is Madhuri Purandare. The translator is Sai Keskar and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read the 137th leg. So what do you think this story is talking about when it is talking about the 137th leg? Let's see. It was a new day. The sun shone softly on the forest. The birds woke up. A millipede lay curled under a big brown leaf. The twittering birds woke her up. So in this picture, you can see the millipede is sleeping under this leaf and it's early morning and birds are chirping, they're making their noises, they're twittering and this wakes up the millipede. A millipede is a type of small animal that has a very long body and many, 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 many legs. Go away, let me sleep, she grumbled. I know it is morning. You don't have to make a fuss about it every day, she told the birds. So the millipede is still feeling like sleeping and she tells the birds to go away and let her sleep. The millipede crawled out from under the leaf. She stretched her first 15 pairs of legs. Then she let out a giant yawn. So here in this picture, you can see all the legs of the millipede. So many are there, right? And She's slowly waking up now. She crawls out from under the, under the leaf and she stretches her legs and yawns. I am starving, said the millipede and set out to look for food. In her hurry, she stumbled over a rock. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have broken a leg she shouted. So what happened when the millipede feels hungry, she comes out in a hurry, out from under the leaf and she trips over a rock and she starts immediately shouting, oh no, I have broken a leg. A little sparrow was busy picking grains nearby. Huh. You have broken a leg. I would break one too if I had so many. Look at me. I have two legs. One follows the other. No problem. Easy, she said smugly. And what is all this hurry for? So who sees the millipede at that time? It is the sparrow. And the sparrow has only two legs. And so she is feeling very smug, very confident, very satisfied with herself about it, saying, look, it's so easy. I have only two legs. It's so easy for me to walk. And why are you in a hurry? Could you please help me? Asked the millipede. This early in the day? No, ma'am. Sorry, I have work to do, said the sparrow and flew away. 
So the millipede asks the sparrow for help and the sparrow is in no mood to help her. She is in a hurry doing her work and so she flies away. The millipede asked the honeybees for help, but they were busy collecting honey from the flowers. The dragonflies did not even look at her and buzzed on. So whoever she is looking at and asking for help, they are too busy to help. They're doing their own work. You have so many legs, said the butterfly. Why would you care if one breaks? Stop it with all the drama. The snail had advice. You are so careless. You should learn to walk like this. Slowly. So the butterfly is scolding the millipede saying, stop making such a fuss about breaking one leg. You have so many. Why do you care? And the snail is giving the millipede advice to walk slowly. You know that snails are so slow, right? When they walk, the snail is telling the millipede to walk like him. By now, the millipede was feeling very sad. Sniff, sniff, no one wants to help me. I do want to walk well again, she sobbed. So because nobody is helping the millipede, she was feeling very sorry for herself and sad that nobody is helping her. A spider was merrily swinging on his web. He saw the millipede crying. Hey there, little friend. What makes you cry so early in the day? He asked. I broke a leg and it hurts. Could you please help me? Asked the millipede. So here's the spider making his web. And when he sees the millipede crying, he asks her, why are you crying? And the millipede explains what happened and asks him for help. Oh yes, I can help you. But how do I find the broken leg from all these legs? I can only count up to eight, said the spider. Okay, count with me, said the millipede. One, seven, 23, 58, 92, 115, 100, and ouch, there it is, my 137th leg. So the spider has only eight legs and he offers to help but he can only count up to eight. And so then the millipede says, I can help you count and I can tell you which leg is broken. And they count up to 137. And that's the leg that's hurting, this one over here. The spider swung down to the millipede. He went round and round the leg, wrapping it with the silk threads from his web. Do you feel better now? He asked. The millipede smiled happily. So what did the spider do? The spider took his web, the silk threads from his web, and he wrapped it around the leg that the millipede had broken and the millipede is now happy.
Thank you, dear spider. I don't know what I would have done without you. Take care now, little millipede. Don't trip over something again. Bye bye, said the spider. Bye, said the happy millipede. So the spider tells the millipede, don't do this again and don't break your leg again, but I'm happy to help you. And the millipede is now happy. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are millipede, a type of small animal with a long body and many legs. Stumble, to trip over something. Smugly, with confidence, pleased with oneself. Try these questions. Try to find a millipede where you live and describe it in your own words. Try to count its legs. If you can't find one, find one of the other animals in this story. Put yourself in the position of the millipede. How would you feel if no one helped you? Now put yourself in the position of the sparrow or butterfly and write about how they might be feeling. 